Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Mitchell Hour podcast. This is episode 80. Um, Man, it's been a lot going on. Uh, and uh, I want to talk about No Jumper podcast. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it is a uh, L.A.-based podcast. Uh, it was a network Um Started by Adam Twenty Two, who is a uh, thirty, you know, middle aged white man, um, and most, well, the the majority of his hosts, uh, employees are African Americans uh, or Latinos, uh, former gang members, and you know, L.A. street dudes that would get on there and just talk about rap and interview each other and just have a lot of fun. Uh, So a lot of things have been going on with that. Um, You know, Adam 22 has been accused of being a culture vulture by a lot of people in the music industry. Um, And, you know, he, he jumped to success very, very, very quickly. And, um, you know, a lot of people are contributing his success to AD, House Phone, T-Rail, uh, Sharp, and everybody that are, you know, that was on that podcast are uh, melanated, melanated uh, human beings. Um, but what happened was he wanted to switch it up. Uh, he wanted to switch some things up and um, he wanted to move AD to another show, but it ended up turning sour because he ended up texting another uh, one of his uh, staff members, and it was a private message that that staff member put out on Discord, and it got back to AD, and AD felt some type of way about the things that he was saying. Um, but then everything came to a head when he said he wanted to go more political. Uh, he had one guy on there that actually said... Invited to your show of yours. I had to look up like 30 things. So I thought you were inviting me to fuck you. And you thought girlfriend. I was black when you I, no, first well, got yeah, invited. No, well, yeah, that too also. <laughs> well, because I already said Adam does hip-hop. So I didn't know you were just a slave owner. Hip-hop. And not the... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Listen, I'm here to rep a... Instead of checking the, the guy that said it, Adam22... Uh, he laughed about it until he was checked on social media and then he does that f- fake ass apology and comes back and says, oh, you're right. I should have checked him. I'm sorry. All right. That was a mouthful. But my question to you guys is this. Why is it that certain people can come into uh, the rap hip hop community and get a following, get money, and because of the color of their skin, they're going to reach a lot of different audiences and, you know, with that. And what happens the majority of the time is once they're, it turns very lucrative, they make a lot of money, they are able to walk away from a culture that was very accepting of them and move into something else. A couple of, of examples uh post malone now this is not a shot at post malone because i really do like his music whether it's hip-hop rock alternative whatever it is i really do like his music but he came in calling himself the white iverson and now he plays music and makes music that is very um different than where he started um we look at uh, Justin Timberlake. We all know, you know, the NSYNC situation. And uh, then he started, even when he was with NSYNC, he was teaming up with Timberland. But then he had his solo career. And let's be honest, during his solo career, damn near all his supporters were African-American. Mo- a lot of his songs were being played on the black radio stations across the country. Um then he recently, well, some years ago, released Man in the Woods, where he had on his lumberjack and he's walking around like he was going back to his roots in Tennessee. Um, DJ Vlad, you know, um, 
He talks bad about one person that you really can't talk bad about in the black community, whether you're a Muslim or not, is Minister Louis Farrakhan. He uh, misquoted him and he says some horrible things, but somehow, some way, he gets shut down and black people don't support him for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, maybe a month, but then he's back interviewing uh BMF members, a uh, little boozy is going on there. Every Spears is going on there. Now, all this have happened after his dispute or the things that he said about Minister Louis Farrakhan. Uh, my son was one main person that was going on there that was pretty cool with DJ Vlad. But after DJ Vlad said what he said about Minister Louis Farrakhan, my son stopped going on the show. Lastly, and I think this is the most um, crazy switch up was Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly came in there and he was like just really rap, 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 rapidly rap type dude. And then uh, now uh, you can probably contribute to his his knocking him totally out back into his white suburban uh, situation is Eminem. But Machine Gun Kelly is tattooed. Uh, he gets fingernails painted. He's straight up rock and roll now. 100%. Nothing hip hop about him. Uh, he's even said that he doesn't want to do hip hop anymore. So, you know, why do people come into our culture um, and ben benefit from it and then leave it once they get their following. Um, I, I think we are a little bit too accepting um, in our culture. Uh, and you know, we accuse people of being culture vultures. But sometimes, I mean, we, we might be too accepting and, and, and forgiving of people to do the things that they do and then just leave like we didn't matter in the first place. Mm -hmm.